Yes, hello, and welcome back to Let's Play with Molly Redeemed. We're standing here on our beautiful balcony of our starter house uh, that we built in our last episode. Now, off camera, we did a thing that we mentioned we needed to do in episode two. So let's go see what that is. So we did a thing. Can you guess? <laughs> hmm. So we went and we got two villagers. I didn't think it would be riveting content for you guys to experience the whole uh, torturous adventure of trying to get them from the east to our home. But I will pop in a quick time lapse video so you can see what it was like dealing with these wonderful, wonderful, obstinate villagers. They are the worst. So there you have it. We have our two villagers. So our plan for this episode is to kill all the chickens. No, not to kill all the chickens. To build this area up over here and build a a farm and a home for our villagers. We're going to set up a, a I don't really do a breeding farm because I don't know how to do those well. Um, so I just kind of stick them in a room with some beds uh, and some carrots and uh, let them let them um, do what they do. You know, they make it the babies. Okay, so for our farmhouse, we're going to need some resources as we need with anything that you have to build in Minecraft. That's the beauty of it. If you want a thing, you have to work for it. You have to mine it. You have to craft it. Beauty of the game. It's just simple so we want to make a little red barn that's what we want to do and it's not going to be too little but it's it's going to be a good size so we're going to use red terracotta and for the white trim we're going to use because the white terracotta is not white it's not white at all it's really has a lot of pink and a lot of yellow in it there's a lot of not white in it so we want to use white and the easiest block for white is going to be quartz. And in order to get quartz, we have to go into the nether. So we're going to go into the into the nether. We're not going to do a big search around. Um, it would be great if when we jump in there, we're right at a fortress. But that's not on our list of plans of things to do in this episode. So we're going to go in and we're just going to grind and get plenty of quartz for our farmhouse.
idiot. So let's talk real quickly about why I'm not your typical Minecrafter. I was 45 years old when I first entered the world of mining and crafting. I was a grandmother, a mother of two 20-something sons, and I'm also retired on disability with a rare neurological disorder. I was looking for an outlet, a way to be able to reclaim some of the some of the freedoms that I no longer have in my physical frame. In Minecraft, I can build, I can play, I can run, I can do all the things that sometimes my health restricts in the real world. And that's why I say you're never too old, you're never too busy, you're never too sick, you're never too anything to find time to play. I can't do a lot of the things that I used to be able to do. But I think that it's critical that where we can, we find the space to play. I can't play in the world like I used to because of the restrictions of my body. But I can always find time to play in Minecraft. And now a guest appearance from that little girl who made me a Mimi. I am. Wait, I want to see your house. I ain't never seen your house. Yeah, this is a different world. You haven't seen this world. Get out of the portal. Wait, can I see the portal? Oh yeah, that's the portal. I haven't made it pretty or anything. It's just down there. It's under my house. You ready? I'm gonna close. Do I have the? I'm gonna close my eyes. Okay, close your can eyes. Can I open my eyes? Not yet. <laughs> open your eyes. Wow! Wow! You made it. Look at this. This is where my. This is my secret little dungeon area. Okay, I'm looking at that. Look. Wait, close the door so, so... It did. It closes by itself. What? Wait, wait, wait. Open it and close it. Wow! Yep, see? Cool. That's, it's called a pressure plate. If you put pressure on it, it opens. Wait. See? This is my library and my enchanting table. Mm-hmm. But can we go upstairs? Can you go yes. upstairs? Yes. Let's go upstairs. I have to finish all this area. It's not all done. I haven't finished the inside of the house either. Well, it looks pretty good. Yeah, I just have to, I have to put furniture and stuff in it. I gotta get rid of all these chests. I'm gonna make a kitchen here and a living room. It's only a bed. Yeah, I've just got a bed sitting in the middle. And then this is my upstairs. Wow. Wait, yeah. can you make more upstairs? Um, I'm not going to because this is just my starter house. Wait, so can you fly up? I can't fly. Uh-uh. Try fly. I can't fly. You can't fly in this. This is survival. The only reason why, the reason why you can fly when you play is because you play in creative, but you can't fly in survival. That's why like when you hit the iron golems, the iron golems don't hit you back. And the monsters don't try and kill you. Okay. Cool beans. Wait, can I have a Wait, go get that egg. Ah! <laughs> this stinking chicken's leaving eggs all over my place. There's a chicken. Should I kill it? Yes. Kill the chicken. There it is. Crit! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> is that funny to you? Okay, so now, now that I've got my fortune pickaxe, it's all, it's all perfectly healthy again. Wait, See? can you hear it? No, you'll hear it when I'm, I'm about to break some blocks. Oh, I hear it. Yeah. Yeah. I hear you walking on the grass. Why do you want to build it so much? Well, you see, this is the block. I need the white stuff that's inside. It's an ore. It's called quartz. So I need the quartz because I'm going to build a farmhouse. And the farmhouse... Um, is going to use quartz and red terracotta. So. Wait, can I see the top of it? The top of what? The top of the city. I want to see the city. I don't have a city. I just have wow, my house. I just want to see the most. You Wait, can, can we look down? Mm-hmm. Wait, I want to look at your animal. <laughs> I have so many animals, don't I? It's okay. So like you like that. <laughs> they have baby sheep too. Chickens. Okay. Is that chickens? I have chicken. 
chickens. Kill and those chickens. You said you were going to kill chickens. Eventually. It's dark time. Yeah. Let me get to bed. <gasps> oh no! Oh no! Oh no, 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 no! No, no, no! They're going to kill me! 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 Hurry up! Get down! Get down! Get down! Get down! They're going to kill me! I got... Ah! They're going to kill me! They're going to kill me! Don't die! Ah! Guess I Those are phantoms! I'm trying. I got to get down low! Before they knock me off, they're going to kill me! Ah! Ah! Oh, and there's this! Zombies! Ah! <laughs> I needed to sleep. Help! Help! Oh no! Ah! There's so inside, many monsters. Inside. Quick! 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 I'm safe now. That was a close one. Never do that again. Yes, I will sleep. Yeah, they wanted to. They were gonna knock me off. I gotta go kill this zombie who picked up my. Get my stuff back, zombie. Mm. Mm. <laughs> ah, spider! Oh, the spiders don't hurt you. Wait, uh, kill it. it. Kill it. That was a bad dream. <laughs> that was a bad dream? Those are called phantoms. Have you ever seen those before? No, never. Wait, do they kill you? Yes, they absolutely do. And I was up so high, if they would have hit me, they would have knocked me off. And I would have fallen to my death. So that's why I just, I didn't try and fight them up high. Plus, I didn't have any water. Why am I going back up here without any water again? I'm being so silly. Don't ever do that again. You see phantoms? Not touch them. Don't Can you touch, touch phantoms? Can um, you touch phantoms? Um, I mean, uh, you, I can touch them with my sword. With your hand? Uh, no, they will kill you. <laughs> you will kill your hand. Huh? Do not go out of nighttime. It might kill you. Well, as long as you sleep, I, you have to, if, but if you don't sleep three nights in a row, then the phantoms come. You didn't sleep for three weeks? For three nights. For three nights? Yes. I was in the nether. So it's, you can't sleep in the nether. There is no day and night in the nether. It's just... Day and night, day and night. <laughs> I live alone as if this free is not a night. At, at, a night. That song might be copywritten. <gasps> oh, you see, look down there. They're, they're villagers. Look at them. Oh, my goodness. It's a whole raid. Oh, it's not a raid, but they're going to, they want to fight me. They want to fight me. There's six of them. Why are there so many? <laughs> Wait, which one's the boss? Ah, the one carrying the flag. Run away. Wait, say ah! I'm not gonna say ah. Why? Well, they can't hear me. And I'm, I'm so far out of their view, they can't see me either, so. It's fine. Let them look at you. They can't, I'm up too high. Just go down there. I have to break all these blocks first. I have to get a saddle. I hate phantoms. You hate phantoms? What'd they ever do to you? They kill people like you said. Well, they do. Yeah, they do. <coughs> I'm gotten, getting lots of XP. My experience. You're almost done. I know. Wait, can I see how much we're down? Yeah, we're almost down. We're still high up, right? No, not super high. Oh, yeah, we're not super high. I like that music. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Be careful! That's the sound of the XP. The bing-bings. It's like...
like a piano. It does sound kind of like a piano, doesn't it? Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Bloop, 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 bloop. Bloop, 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 bloop. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Bloop, bloop. Whoa, whoa, wait, one more. Okay, let's see how much that gives us. That is a lot, huh? We still have some, some more. We still have another stack. We have, we almost have four stacks yeah, of quartz. Yeah, you have eight. You have eight right here. Well, though that's soul sand, but we're looking at the block of quartz. That's what we need for our to build our farm. You ready to see what our pallet's gonna be? Okay, so we've got our terracotta. We've got some more quartz. We've got some spruce. Let's plant the rest of this spruce. And let's go get the rest of our terracotta. Not the rest of our terracotta. Let's go get the rest of our quartz. And we'll get a stone cutter. And then we'll be ready to go. <laughs>
episode, I've downloaded a couple of modifications. I've added the Optify um, and Optifabric, which allows me to zoom in. Let's do a quick zoom. There's our farmhouse. We've got a little door there. I still have to take down some of that um, uh, dirt pillaring that I've pillar, pill, yeah, pillar, pillar up. Yes, pillaring. I have to get rid of that. But and I've made this faux door. It doesn't work, but it looks like a door. I haven't decided. Um, haven't worked on the upstairs yet, uh, but it's just the beginning. Another benefit of the one of the uh, mods that we have is that we have the ability to put on shaders. So let's take a look at some of these of our build here with shaders on. I love to look at the things with the shadows and the with the light and some movement. So let's see. Uh oh. There it is. There it is. Let's go take a look. So here's our new barn. I've got so much to do with the terraforming. We're going to get that underway though. It's the inside. Looks kind of dark because of the shadows, but uh, <laughs> get some more torches until we get better light sources. <clears throat> when we do the ocean o ocean monument and clear that out, we'll have sea lanterns as a wonderful light um, source to help light things up a bit. So we're going to move our villagers into this area here. They'll be locked in with this gate here. And I'm going to throw some beds in there and throw some carrots at them. And hopefully we can get quite a few going. And then uh, we'll get them we'll get them situated. Let's break this. And let's look at our house with the shaders. Yeah, I think that's pretty. I, I think that's pretty. Yes, I am pleased with that. I think it looks good. Shaders are pretty. They're really pretty. We got the kid. There we go. We have three kids. Gave you enough. I would like for you to give me four kids, please. We sure did accomplish a lot this episode. <laughs> we got our villagers underway. We've got a farmer, a Fletcher, and a librarian at this point. We've got Unbreaking 3, and we've got to work uh, to get some of the more important ones like Mending, Efficiency 5, Fortune, Silk Touch, all of those things that help. Um, protection 4 for my armor, um, Aquafinity, which helps with and Respiration those things help with my with uh, uh, my armor so um, yeah we're gonna get some masons going as well we've got this beautiful barn made for to house our villagers and we're gonna keep it in this open lifestyle until we've gotten all the ones that we're gonna have and then we're gonna put them set them up in a trading hall in here in between episodes I'm gonna do some of the grindy work of getting these villagers bred up and uh, we're gonna try and get a couple masons, a couple fletchers, uh, a couple farmers, um, and several librarians so that we can meet all our block needs, we can meet all our um, all the books that we might need. We're gonna need a mending and pr protection four. We're gonna need a whole lot of books so we're gonna try and get all that done. That's kind of boring grindy work so I'm not gonna make you guys watch that. I'm also gonna do some terraforming on the land to pretty this up a little bit at some point i might try and automate a farm i'm i'm not great at redstone 
In this series, I'm going to do my best to stretch beyond my comfort level. I want to do things that I don't typically do. I don't typically do the redstone uh, and do everything manually. So we're going to do some redstone in our next episode. After we've done all the grinding work, hopefully our armor will be far superior. Our tools will be um, all shiny and with great enchants on them. And we can venture back into the nether, take on that bastion that we saw, and look for a fortress. I'm loving this barn. I'm hoping that you like it too. Let me know down in the comments what you think. I feel like we've got a lot accomplished. We're we're moving right along our little area coming together with our, with our barn and our house and our farms and it's go just going to continue to grow in this series. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode and if you did, please consider giving a like and if if you really like this video, consider subscribing and don't forget, you're never too old, you're never too sick, you're never too busy, you're never too anything to find time to play. Bye-bye. See you next episode.